So we're back and we're going to do the video on the shoots, flowers, buds, whatever you want to call them, of the plantain. Um, I'm doing a little test right now, just waiting for the heat uh, to come on the stove. I'm impatient. Sometimes I turn it up way too high. So all this is is uh, a garlic shoot, um, garlic scape that I just picked from my garlic growing right now which is pretty awesome because it worked out really well for the video. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of that in there. I'm going to save some because we're going to do some hosta flower leaves, after, uh, not flowers, but leaves afterwards. So once this starts getting warm, I'm going to turn it down. This is just my garlic. You can put ginger in here too. Again, I didn't feel like digging up any of my ginger. And usually I don't put anything in it when I'm doing a video, only if I'm cooking for myself. But I figured, eh, let's just... Throw a little garlic in there, see what that tastes like. I do use coconut oil, and the reason why I use coconut oil is because you can cook coconut at a high heat without it changing and uh, killing your gut. Coconut's really good uh, to cook with. Although, if you were out in the woods and you didn't have anything to cook with, you just use water um, on the, you know, on your little stove. So a little bit of garlic. Mixed in with the oil. I just turned it down a little bit. So we're going to throw these guys in first because the leaves don't take very long. I'm going to turn that down. The leaves don't take very long to cook. You just want to wilt them. And these are the little buds of uh, uh, flowering. I'm sure there's a other names for them than what I'm calling them, but put these little guys up. I've gone back through and looked at my videos later on and just, it seems like the sizzling over empowers me trying to talk on here, so I don't know how to change that, so unless I talk a little louder, and I don't like to get too loud because then it throws people off. I've seen videos where, um, I don't like to mention names because that's just rude, but where people are just very loud and abrupt, abruptive when they're talking and it just throws me off. I just can't continue to listen to them or to swear. I make my videos um, kid friendly so that children can learn this because this is what we should be teaching our kids so they'll always know it. And uh, it's a lost art, it really is. People are so used to buying everything in the store and not learning how to eat their wild foods around them. I'm native so it's kind of Kind of in my blood where our ancestors survived on it. We wouldn't be here if they didn't. We wouldn't be here without the, the knowledge with herbal medicine either. And I've heard people say, well, you know, we've come a long way. Well, actually we haven't. We're really destroying our bodies with putting all these uh, drugs that are being made. I'm not saying there's a time and a place that we should be using medications for emergencies. Absolutely but not on an everyday basis. Like if you're on medication every day, then you're doing something wrong with your diet. So here we are back with our diet. So they're getting soft and I like to push down on the little stems to see how they are. That's how I can tell. They don't take very long to cook. Just don't cook them on really high, high heat. You don't want to burn them. Then they'll come out crispy. Although. We probably could put these in a toaster oven and make them nice and crispy. I should try that. And then they'd be like little crispy snacks. <laughs> put a little tamari on there, which is uh, like soy sauce, but without being made with, um, I think that one doesn't have soy in it. That's the tamari. I forgot what it's made out of. Um, but you can put whatever you want in it and make it taste good. Ginger. See how they're getting a little... So these look good. Now I'm just going to throw in the leaves and get those a little soft. Okay. I should have put them in a little sooner too. A little water in there, just a tad bit. Always 
wash your ears. I always wash everything. I'm not afraid of bugs, but you know, birds too fun. <laughs> There's a lot of birds inside my greenhouses, so that's one of the reasons why I wash everything. So these are almost done. If you pick these, we'll wait for the bathroom stop. And if you hear the talk. You guys are noisy. <laughs> so if you pick these and you find that they are um, bitter after you cook them, you can always cook them or boil them for a few minutes to take the tannins out. That's all it is is the tannins. And bitterness doesn't hurt you, just for the liver and digestion. You can boil them down and just boil them for like five minutes, ten minutes, like you would fiddlehead. Oh, it looks like hair, but it's not. Those strings. Those come from the plant itself, and I've done a video, and you can see how I pull the plant apart, and you can see the little strings. I was like, oh no, don't tell me what you're saying. So always wash your leaves, um, wash everything, rinse them off, and cook them, and then cook them after you wash them. These are pretty good. They're almost done. If you want them a little more tender, you can let them stay in a little bit longer, see they're popping. Kind of entertaining. That slow wait. <laughs> Didn't take very long, about five minutes. Five minutes and they should be pretty good to go. She's still a little more, she's still a little bit tough. You want them so that they're like a spinach type, almost spinach like when you're eating them. Me, I, I'll eat them raw. I'll put them right in my salad. I don't care. The bitter doesn't bother me. I'm used to it. So those are pretty good. I'll take them out and put them in my beautiful little apple bowl. And when those are finished, those are finished, I am going to do some hosta leaves that I just picked because I walked by them and said, why not? Let's just do some hosta leaves. Oh. There's one left there. Let's do some hosta leaves. So I left some of the garlic scapes for uh, my hostas. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cook up some hostas. We're gonna cook up some hostas. Hosta leaves, that is. So they're quite big. See the hosta leaves? There's, I brought in different ones so you could see the colors. And um, there are some that are quite big. Again, if you find that they are too bitter, you can always um, cook them or, or boil them down. I'm going to cut them only because I want them smaller. And I'm going to throw some water in here too. So we're going to cook these down. Hoping my video isn't going to be way too long. Although it's fun. This is fun stuff. You can't say it's not. I have a lot more hostas to cook, but I'm just going to do these for a little demonstration. You can put a lid on them to cook them a little quicker. I don't know if I have a lid out here. I don't have a lid handy, so we're just going to leave it. Um, Bring that heat up, cook them a little quicker. So the water, they'll absorb the water. Um, you could put butter in here, you could put spices in here. You can put whatever you want for um, flavoring. I personally, I think that they have a nice flavor all on their own, just with the coconut. And the garlic gives it a little, a little twist. So the heat's getting coming up, coming up to temperature. Once it starts to get a little hot, and you see it boiling, you can turn it down a little. So 
So when I moved into my house, I had these hostas. I think I've said it in my other video everywhere. I honestly, I'm not a big flower type of girl. I am a medicinal herbal. If I can eat it, I'll grow it. Wild edible lover. And that's what I do. And I educate people on how to eat their weeds and trees also. There's a lot on the trees that people have no idea that are edible. So I was like, I'm gonna dig these hostas up and get rid of them because they were just everywhere. Then I started really learning about the hostas and I'm like, oh my goodness, I, I'm gonna leave these here. I'm gonna try to eat these and see. I came across a video and I was really intrigued and I said, you know what? I'm gonna eat these guys. I started eating them and really liked them and I said, I think more people really need to know about hostas and you know, you can eat the hostas. It's great staple food. If you were hungry, you could go out there and eat your hostas. These are high in uh, manganese and magnesium, other vitamins too, but you know, um, this is a staple food. Why would you not want to eat them? So we've done the shoots. I've showed you the shoots, cooking the shoots, um, and now we're on to the leaves later on. Some people say they're really bitter, but um, I don't think they are, although I am, you know, I really don't mind the bitterness. Mm, these came out really good. A little hint of bitter, but boy, I like them. And you can get away from that bitterness by putting a little salt in there, um, butter, flavor them up. And again, if you were in the woods, you couldn't do that. <laughs> you still would eat it. Even if it was bitter, you still would eat it. See how these are turning into like a spinach? Even the tougher ones, that's why I brought them in purposely. I did pick a lot of the little ones because they're underneath the hostas are all um, smaller leaves. And believe me, I all the shoots that I've picked, these hostas still came back like nobody's business. You can't even tell I even picked any of the hosta shoots from earlier. So that's it. I don't want to make this video too long. It's already 12 minutes long. These um, are the um, the leaves of the hostas. I did two videos in one here. We talked about the plantain, the little shoots, and the leaves. Um, always pick them really tiny if you don't want them really bitter. Not that they're going to hurt you. If you want to cook them and uh, boil them down and get rid of the um, tannins, that's fine. And then you just throw them in your pan and stir fry them up with whatever dish you want. These are your greens. Some of the best greens you will ever eat because they are wild. Well, hostas aren't wild. Hostas are actually um, purposely put in the ground. I'm gonna try to find some um, some other um, wild greens that you're familiar with um, and cook those up and show you some cool things that we can do with uh, some of the um, wild edibles here but that's it guys um pastas these are the little baby pasta these are the little flowers they're pretty good these are almost done but i'm gonna sign off on the video because it's getting too long but you have the picture and the, the idea of how to cook these and i hope you learned something today all right peace be well be safe and uh, make sure you know your wild edibles before you eat them um, follow a lot of people that have done this more than once or twice and uh, make sure they know exactly what they're telling you when they're um, trying to teach you the wild animals. Alright, and look it up in books. Alright, peace.